to another Windows beta tutorial. Now today we're going to be taking a look at Windows Millennium build 2380.2. Now this actually comes as a video request by uh, YouTube user Brian Tylo. Uh, and he asked, can you make uh, a video on this build? Uh, and thank you, Brian, uh, for this idea, and that's what, what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at how to install Windows Millennium Build 2380.2, uh, and I'm going to be using VMware Workstation for this, but of course you can use uh, whatever uh, virtual machine software that you have uh, available to you. Now, now, the first thing uh, that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go... Uh, down below this video in the uh, video description and there's going to be uh, two files that you need to download one of them uh, is the actual uh, Windows ME build 2380.2 ISO file and the other one is a Windows 98 boot disk so that we can actually um, get this machine to boot uh, for the first time now once you have uh, those two files downloaded uh, you're going to want to open uh, whatever virtual machine software that you are using and you're going to want to create a new virtual machine and you want to select the uh, typical recommended option now of course this is for uh, VMware Workstation so if you don't see this that's okay but uh, if you are using uh, VMware Workstation I would uh, select the uh, typical recommended option uh, but anyway just uh, click on next and you want to select I will install the operating system later so that the virtual machine will be created with a blank hard disk and click on next and you want to select the guest operating system as Microsoft Windows and the version as Windows ME and once you have that selected you just want to click on next and you can name it anything I'm just going to call it Windows ME uh, build 2380.2 uh, and then you can uh, select next uh, and for the uh, virtual hard disk size of course you can set it to anything I'm just going to leave it as uh, the default size that it has selected. If you want to make it anything larger than this, then uh, you can right here. Uh, and I'm also going to store it as a single file. Once you have all that selected, you just want to click on Next. And then you want to click on the Customize Hardware option. And you want to go to the New CD DVD IDE drive, and you want to use the ISO image file. And then you want to browse to the Windows ME uh, ISO file that you downloaded. And again, that link is going to be down below in the video description. Now, once you have that selected, for some reason, uh, this virtual machine did not automatically create a virtual floppy drive. So if you don't have one of those, you, you just want to click on the Add button down here. And you want to select on the floppy drive option and click Next. And you want to select Use a floppy image and click Next. And in here you want to browse to the Windows 98 boot disk that you downloaded. And again, that link will also be down below. All right, now once you have that selected, you, you want to make sure that uh, this little box in here that says connect at power on is checked. This is very important uh, because if it's not uh, connected at power on, it's not obviously going to boot uh, from the floppy drive. Uh, but anyway, you just, you just want to click on finish and you're, you're going to see that we have added uh, a new floppy drive. Um, and then you just want to click on close and you want to click on finish once again and it's going to pop up with a new uh, Windows ME build 2380.2 virtual machine or whatever you named it will be up here obviously so now what you want to do is you want to go up here to where it says VM and you want to go to power and then you want to power onto BIOS this is probably one of the most important parts of the installation uh, because as I'm sure you know uh, just like all these betas, this has a trial period on it. So, uh, if you boot in uh, to the installer with a date of 4-19-2014, it's not going to let you install it. So we have to set the date back uh, to. I'm just going to say, uh, let's just do uh, September 19th, 1999. I think this was around the time that this build uh, was released. Then you want to press F10. And you want to press enter on yes for it to save uh, all of the changes. And now you're at the Windows 98 startup menu and you want to start the computer with CD-ROM support. So press enter on, on uh, option one. And now it's going to start loading all uh, of the drivers that it needs uh, to boot into MS-DOS. So once it does that, you're, you're going to see that it says uh, Windows 98 has detected that drive C does not contain a valid FAT or FAT32 partition. And all, all we have to do to fix that is just type in fdisk at the prompt down here. 
you want to press Y on enabling large disk support. So just press enter. And at this uh, point, you want to select one to create a DOS partition or logical DOS drive. And you want to create a primary DOS partition. And it's going to uh, verify the drive integrity. And you, you want to press Y on using the maximum available size. So just press enter. And it's going to do uh, some more verifying. And, and now it says you must restart your system for your changes to take effect. Any drives that you have created must be formatted after you restart. So now what you have to do is you have to press escape and you have to uh, press control alt at least here in VMware workstation to get your mouse back. Of course it might be different for another uh, virtual machine software and you just want to go and restart the virtual machine so that we can go into the next part which is going to be formatting the drive. So you, you want to once again start your computer with CD-ROM support and it's going to load uh, all the all those drivers again and once it does that uh, you want to see right here uh, where it says drive E you want to uh, just remember this drive letter because this is this is the CD drive that uh, we have the ISO mounted into now yours might be different uh, so you, you just want to make sure that whatever drive letter that this is here you want to just make sure that you just remember that because we're going to have to use it uh, in a little bit here. So uh, at the DOS prompt, you want to type in format C colon and press Y and it's going to format and it's going to be really fast because again, we're in uh, a virtual machine. It's going to begin calculating the uh, free space and all this. And now uh, at the volume label, you can type in one. I'm just going to press enter for none. And now you are done. Uh, so now what you want to do is go in uh, to your CD drive. Now again, mine was E. Yours might be different. So just uh, type in E colon at the prompt or again, whichever one you have and type in setup. And now it's going to say that it's going to perform a routine check on your system. So just press enter and it's going to run Microsoft scan disk. And this doesn't really take that long. Once again, we are in a virtual machine, but if you're installing this on a physical computer, uh, it might take uh, much longer than that. So now uh, you just want to press X to exit and it's going to begin uh, the first part of the actual setup. And uh, it says that the estimated time remaining is 30 to 60 minutes. Now, of course, that may vary uh, depending on if you're using a real computer or a uh, virtual machine like we are here. But anyway, uh, you just want to click next at this prompt right here and you want to select I accept the agreement. And now you want to type in uh, your Windows Millennium product key, which will also be uh, down below in the video description. And it will also be uh, in the zip file that you downloaded. And that is also going to be down below. Uh, so anyway, uh, you just want to type that in here. All right, once you have that typed out, uh, you just want to click on the next button. And then you want to select the installation directory now. Uh, you can choose the default, which is C colon slash windows, or uh, you can change it uh, to your own uh, custom directory, like, you know, something like C colon slash windows ME or something like that. But I'm just going to leave it as the default, which is C colon slash windows. And uh, you just want to click next. And now it says checking your hard disk for errors. It's going to just, you know, go through this uh, really uh, quick little process here. Uh, it's going to check for installed components. And once it gets done with that, it's going to check for available disk space, which again, shouldn't take that long. Now, if you're on a real computer, uh, that time may vary depending on your actual uh, computer speed. So now what you want to do is, uh, I would recommend uh, just selecting the uh, typical option here. Uh, but if you want, you can choose uh, like the, uh, you know, portable option if you're on like an actual laptop that you're uh, installing this on or if you want to uh, save disk space you can select compact uh, or you can do custom which it says is only for uh, system administrators but of course if you want to do that uh, you can do custom I'm just going to select uh, the plain old typical option so just click next and now you just want to type in your name uh, and your company so click next and now you can choose either install the most common components or display a list of components so I can choose the one I want to install. Now I'm actually going to choose the second option here so we can get a whole list of all of the options 
and I'm going to select uh, the desktop themes as well as the internet tools. Um, let's go down here a little bit. Uh, let's just also install uh, Why Not Web TV for Windows. Now, you don't have to install these, but I, I'm just going to do it uh, just because I want uh, that in this uh, virtual machine. And it might be different uh, because this is a beta version of Windows. So if you want to see uh, how all of those different programs work, uh, definitely go in here. Uh, to add those uh, to the installer but anyway uh, once you have uh, all of your little selections here you just want to click next and now you want to choose uh, your computer name I'm, I'm just going to select um, uh, let's just do me-2380 uh, and uh, we will just leave this all as the default right here so we'll just select next and now uh, you want to select your language and your time zone. I'll just leave this as the default here. So just select next. And now it's going to ask you if you want to create a startup disk. Now you don't you don't really need this because you have uh, the Windows 98 one, which is again linked down below. But if you absolutely have to, you would insert a blank floppy image into Drive A because this is going to override anything that you put in that drive. So I'm just going to select cancel on uh, creating a startup disk. And now it's going to say remove the disk and click OK. So uh, you, you just want to get your mouse back uh, out of the virtual machine and go up here. I'm going to go down here uh, and uh, select disconnect on the floppy drive. And now uh, it's been disconnected. So I can just select OK. And now it's going to say copying files ready to begin. So just click finish. And now it's going to begin copying Windows files to your computer. Uh, so um, I'm just going to pause the video here and I will be back once we are at the next portion uh, of the installation. Alright, so we are now uh, finished copying the files over and the virtual machine has restarted. And now uh, Windows Millennium is now setting up your hardware and any plug and play devices. And as you can see, uh, that the estimated time remaining has moved down to uh, 13 minutes now. Uh, and basically it's just... Uh, setting up uh, all of those virtual uh, devices that you have uh, installed and the time is actually going down uh, pretty fast it's not taking like 11 minutes it's yes yeah, it's already, it already went down to 10 minutes so now Windows Millennium is now detecting any non plug and play hardware uh, in your computer so um, it's it might freeze as it says right here it says uh, caution this may take a few minutes and may cause your computer to stop responding um, so I don't really think this would happen in a virtual machine, but if you're doing this on a real computer and this does happen to you, you would definitely want uh, to restart. All right, and now it is uh, continuing to set up your hardware and any plug and play devices you may have. So uh, at this point, I'm actually just going to pause the video and I'm just going to wait until uh, that we get to the, uh, to the next part of the installation. All right, so we are now uh, completely finished and uh, we just have to click on the restart now button to restart the computer. And as you can see, we have that uh, new beta uh, boot screen here, which looks uh, very similar to the Windows 98 one. It just says uh, Windows codename Millennium Beta 1. I, be I believe this was the first um, Beta 1 release uh, that they released uh, to their you know, beta testers. So we'll just wait for it to boot here. It's doing its uh, first boot process now, so this could take some time. All right, so it actually appears that we still have some parts uh, of the setup to finish up. So now it's uh, setting up some more plug and play devices. So, um, yeah, oh wait, here we are, it's done, I believe. All right, so now it is uh, setting up the following items. It's doing, this is its last portion of the setup right here, where it just uh, goes through and it has to set up uh, all these last things. All right, so it is now asking us to restart the computer. I believe this is the last time uh, that we have to do this. So we're just, we're just gonna click on restart now. And it's gonna say Windows is shutting down. And we're just going to restart here. All right, so we are now uh, loading into the desktop. And as you can see at the bottom here, it says Windows Millennium 4.90.2380. So uh, we're just gonna click on the OK button to log in. Uh, and it's going to update the system settings and we should log in here and here we are uh, at the Windows Millennium desktop now I don't believe 
uh, that there is sound loaded um, but here we are uh, as you can see it says Windows Millennium on the side I will run uh, Winver here to give you this version it's as you can see the, it doesn't actually say the version number on here it just says Windows copyright 1981 to 1999 um, and apparently there is a web TV for Windows update actually yeah we'll just click no to this what is this going to install Intel um, yeah, yeah, why not? We'll, we'll install this. And you see, it's uh, trying to find the the uh, Windows 98 CD, so I'm guessing that uh, they, they, they have not changed uh, the, the web TV interface at all, so yeah, we'll just click cancel. Uh, the Explorer interface, I believe, does look a little bit different. Uh, in here, you, you do have, uh, I mean, it's kind of trying to look like Windows 2000. As you know, that is what basically Windows ME was is the Windows 9X kernel with the Windows 2000 you know interface basically so you can see here we have a, a few like you know nice bar like design up here alright so this is uh, the new help and support interface here uh, as you can see it is uh, initializing the WMI I don't really know what that would stand for um, it's populating help topics database uh, now again, I'm sorry for this really low, low uh, resolution that we are uh, running this in right now. Um, but I haven't installed uh, VMware tools yet, and I've kind of had some trouble installing that uh, in a lot of these beta builds. Um, but here, uh, here we are um, loading up the Windows Help and Support application. And yeah, this is basically it, and this would obviously become... Uh, the help and support application, I believe they had something like this uh, in Windows ME. I, I, I know they did uh, in, in Windows XP. Uh, they had a, a whole help and support application like this. Uh, and it's basically something, you know, designed for home users to easily find uh, something, you know, like, you know, help about their computer. Like if, you know, something's not working, say, uh, like the uh, calculator, for example, we can, you know, uh, just pull that up here. Uh, it's a very simple interface uh, for all of that. You can also search help and support, so let's say I, I want help on uh, the start button or something. I don't know, something like that. Apparently there's no... Well, you, apparently you can't get help for the start button, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's basically uh, the help and support application. Um, and yeah, basically this build is just kind of starting to bring uh, some new features uh, into uh, Windows ME for home users and, and is also bringing uh, the Windows 2000 interface over uh, to the Windows 9X kernel. So, um, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for uh, Windows Millennium Build 4.90.2380. Uh, again, thank you Brian uh, for the video idea. And if you guys have a video idea of your own, be sure to leave it in the comments down below so that I can get to it. Um, and uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.